No problem. Doom's subordinate will pick it up. Yes, Doom is thinking of using X-23 as his third. That was just a misunderstanding. She'll come around when she sees Doom's more noble charms. <coughs> yes, I'm still living with him. No, he's not related to Mr. Cage. No, he doesn't play in a band either. Doom's gonna have to call you back. That was some good swag in here. Max! Dude, where's my hoagie? And have you seen my cell phone? I found out I was been going through our garbage at night. Doom, it's... it's Rocket Raccoon! That's right, old chum. I heard that intergalactic threat Galactus was on his way here. You blokes wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would ya? I'll get the exterminator. Hey. No, Doom, it's Rocket Raccoon! Well, what the hell is a Rocket Raccoon? <sighs> what, do you live under a rock? Doom wants a country, furball! Must be from the Dark Ages, judging by your attire. Watch your tongue, vermin! Latveria is the greatest nation in the universe! Huh? Doom, don't you get it? He's the last one! Uh, what? Sit down. He's one of the last ones from the Cursed Disc you brought us. If we master his moves, we'll be set free! Cursed Disc, huh? <laughs> Looks like your friend here brought some of the medieval times back with him. Why don't you go say Slippy? Oh, that's original. You gonna tell a Pocahontas joke next? Guys, just chill out, okay? Why don't we settle this in a game with Ultimate Marvel 3? <laughs> sure. I'll beat Little Green Riding Hood over here in any kind of matchup. <laughs> <sighs> Doom's gonna bring the pain, short round! You can see with Rocket Raccoon that not all cute and fluffy things have to be nice. Think I have rabies? Let's find out. Rocket Raccoon is the smallest character of the entire cast, and he relies on tricks, traps, and viciousness. While his initial speed might seem slow, don't let that fool you. This little guy is quick. His ground walk speed is pretty limited, but his wave dash is rather effective. He's got some very fast and powerful moves in the air that can be used to get around, and he can burrow under the stage to reach the opponent. Because he's such a lightweight character, if you hold up while jumping, he'll actually float in the air. But Rocket Raccoon is extremely fragile and has the lowest health next to Strider and Phoenix. But the combination of his mobility and extremely effective special moves make up for that loss. His first special is the Wild Ripper. This move only works on the ground and forces you closer to your opponent. It's excellent for extending combos due to Rocket Raccoon's limited normal range. The Spitfire Blaster is the main projectile keepaway you'll be using. Pressing light angles down, medium goes forward, and heavy angles up. Pressing any one of the attacks right after will shoot a second projectile. The Oil Bomb is a small projectile full of liquid, but does nothing by itself. You can light the oil on fire with one of his Spitfire moves or his standing heavy attack. The fire can last for quite a long time and cause a great deal of stun, very similar to Dormammu's flame carpet. Mr. Flapper is a bear trap that'll hit opponents off the ground and cause a ground bounce. This is one of Rocket Raccoon's best moves for extending combos. The Pendulum is a gigantic booby-trapped log that'll fly almost full screen. It causes a wall bounce and is very easy to follow up for an extended combo. This is easily one of Rocket Raccoon's most effective moves. The Angel Gift is a quickly placed ground trap. If the opponent walks anywhere close to this device, a boulder will drop on their head. The Claymore acts the same way but comes out a little bit slower, and when activated it will hit several times. And the Grab Bag comes out the slowest but is perhaps the most effective. If the enemy walks over this trap, a net will immediately catch them and make them immobile for a period of time, allowing you to follow up for a fairly easy combo. The Rocket Skates are Rocket Raccoon's most effective method for getting around in the air. This move can be executed three times as long as it's used in different directions. And last but not least is his Burrowing Teleport, aka the Tunnel Rat. The light version will make you pop up right in front of the opponent, 
and the medium directly behind. But the heavy version is special. If you hold the button down, Rocket Raccoon will remain under the ground until you let up, or until a few seconds pass. Having assists or projectiles follow this move can be very difficult to block. Rocket Raccoon's first hyper is called Rock and Roll. It's a multi-hit, full-screen projectile hyper where he pulls out a chain gun and ends with a homing blast. If the chain gun portion of the hyper misses, the homing blast will track the opponent anywhere on the screen. This is Rocket Raccoon's most effective level 1 hyper at the end of combos, or from full-screen hit confirm blaster damage. The Mad Hopper also costs 1 meter and is a gigantic trap that Rocket Raccoon places on the ground. Similar to the special attack of ground traps, this hyper only activates when the opponent gets close to it. You can put up to three of these huge traps on the ground at any given time. And the Rocky Raccoon is his level 3 and does just about 400,000 points of unscaled damage with additional button presses. This level 3 activates anywhere close to or on the ground. And if you're quick enough, you can follow it up at the very end with his chain gun super for extra damage. Rocket Raccoon's first assist is the Double Blast medium version of Spitfire. Since it's a slow-moving projectile, it's easy to follow this move to continue pressure, but if the first blast connects, the second one will combo. His second assist is the Claymore and will remain on the screen for about 3 seconds. Acting similar to the special itself, the Claymore only activates when the opponent walks over it. And his third and what I think to be the most effective assist is the Pendulum. This assist is great because it's very hard to knock Rocket Raccoon out of it because of his small size. And the Pendulum is technically a projectile, but has a decent amount of durability and covers a huge portion of the screen. Comboing with Rocket Raccoon can be a little difficult due to his limited hit stun and range. But with select specials, you can get nearly 500,000 damage off a simple combo. And here's a corner-specific combo that uses all three of his hypers. Guardians of the Galaxy are nothing without me. Yeah, what do you think about them moves, Maxi? Pretty as a picture, I'd say. Yeah, you've got some pretty flashy specials. Pruh! Free logs and claymores! Let me know when you can shoot pure, concentrated awesomeness from your fingertips! And let me know when you can get a Shayla without resorting to kidnapping. Pruh! Anyway, Max. You know any good photographers, maybe? Could help me catch my moment of glory when I bag that bugger Galactus. Capture the moment? Hey, you know like a battle photographer. Someone who can withstand all kinds of action like that. Actually, yeah. Now that you mention it, I got the perfect guy. Frank West. He's covered wars, you know. <laughs> Big deal. Doom started wars. Similar to Phoenix Wright, Frank West is one of the most unconventional characters of the entire cast. Tastes great! Because of this, we'll be covering Frank a little bit differently as well. But let's cover a few basics. At first glance, Frank seems like a relatively average character. He's got mid-range movement, a knee drop, and projectiles that are similar to Jill from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. But that's not what makes Frank unique. If you look above his character artwork, it says Level 1. Frank is a multi-tiered character that gains levels based off experience. To gain experience, you hit your opponent with the camera projectile. This counts as one point of experience. However, doing a combo that has multiple hits and ending the combo with the camera counts all those hits as experience points. He has a total of five levels where his normals and specials rapidly change and the amount of experience points needed for each level also varies. But let's first talk about level one Frank. Frank's first special move is the Object Throw. This is actually a pretty decent projectile, and in level 1, it's a pie. The tools of survival can be performed in the air or on the ground, and are excellent for extending combos. The light version is a multi-hit plunger that pulls in, the medium a home-run swinging baseball bat that causes a wall bounce, and heavy is a short axe that hits off the ground and causes a ground bounce. 
The Giant Swing is a multi-hit physical projectile that has Frank throwing a zombie across the screen. The light to heavy versions will add hits to the swing and distance to the zombie. But this move is very useful because it has a huge amount of hit and block stun. The light and medium version of Hammer Throw will have Frank summoning a zombie that will hit multiple times and travel full screen. The heavy version does the same thing, but comes out a little bit slower and instead will actually grab the opponent making them immobile. And the last one is Frank's Bottoms Up Special. This move will double the amount of experience Frank receives while leveling up. But in order to get to level 2, you're going to need 5 experience points, so that's an easy 5-hit combo. The only difference with level 2 is that Frank gets access to a couple more special moves. One being the roundhouse kick and has several variations. The light one is a fake out, the medium causes a hard knockdown, and the fierce hits off the ground. Frank also gets access to one of his most effective specials in level 2, and that's the barrel roll. The barrel roll is a semi-invincible command roll that tracks the opponent's position. It's extremely effective at the end of combo strings for making them safe. Level 3 is accessed after a total of 20 experience, and this is where Frank really begins to shine. Many of his normals are now extended in damage and range, and his jumping special now causes a large ground bounce. You'll also notice his tools of survival have now changed to a broom, a spiked bat, and a sledgehammer. At level 3, he also gets access to the Funny Face Crusher Hyper. It's an anti-air grab, and is his most effective and damaging use of meter. And if you thought Frank was good at level 3, wait till level 4. You'll get access to level 4 after a total of 50 experience, and you'll start to notice some severe changes. All of Frank's normals are once again heavily increased in damage and length, and his tools of survival now change to a double-ended boat paddle with duct tape chainsaws, a chainsaw itself, and a huge double-sided axe. He also has access to all of his previous specials and hypers, and select few do even more damage. Getting to level 4 is your main priority with Frank, but level 5 doesn't hurt either. At level 5, Frank gets an additional percentage damage boost, but costs 100 experience. Initially, it seems like it's not worth it, and you'd have to sacrifice nearly 5 combos with Frank to get that much experience. But there are ways to bypass the entire process. With select teams and team hypers, Frank's portion of a team hyper actually ends rather early and gives him enough time to execute bottoms up and snap a picture. And since bottoms up doubles your experience, it means you only need a 50 hit combo and 3 meters to quickly get to level 5. Frank's first assist is the light version of Tools of Survival. This is decent for extending combos and will actually pull the enemy closer to you. The next assist will give the point character meter, gaining about one third of a bar. But my assist of choice has Frank running across the screen with a shopping cart. This is a unique move as Frank does not have a special like this, and it juggles fairly well. Frank's first hyper is the blue light special. Here he pushes a shopping cart completely off the screen that's wielding chainsaws and several other damaging objects. This hyper is excellent for after combos since it hits off the ground. The next hyper is survival techniques. The damage and properties of this hyper change depending on which level Frank is in. If you're in level 4 or 5, it does significantly more damage and gains about half screen in vulnerability. And as we mentioned before, the Funny Face Crusher is an anti-air hyper that is only accessed if Frank is at level 3 or higher. You can also boost the damage by rotating the joystick rapidly for more hits. Comboing with Frank can be a little limited during his early levels, but later on, he can do some of the most damaging solo combos in the game. Here's a single combo that does nearly 800,000 points of damage. Again? Why do you guys always go for me? Well, as you can see, Rocket Raccoon's a pretty tricky character, despite his timid appearance. Hey, don't sass me, young lady. I'll split your lip. You know, you're pretty violent for a good guy. Loom started to think that maybe you're a puppet. For Galactus. Are you insinuating that I'm some kind of villain? 
Doom is insinuating that you have a hand up your ass! All right, guys, how about we just settle this in the game? Shut up! We gotta settle this, man to man. Ah, that'll be a stretch for you. <laughs> Ugh. I hate my life. All must submit to the rule of Galactus. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna do this by myself. The battle for Earth! Galactus, you like that? No, you don't, you little boy. You do it. Get up, boy. Turn it off. This charade is over. Oh, crikey, he's cutting off the circulation of me town. Get off you. Just one more catch. Yeah! You have saved the earth. It's done! Oh, you gotta go on a diet, you fat piece of shit. No! What happened? It's over. We did it. We mastered all 12 characters. Saved the world. Where's the game? No, it's right here. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Fate of two worlds. What my game! My buffs! My strider! They're all gone! Dude, chill out. Like, doesn't the game come out in a week anyway? Well, what will Doom do until then? Wanna go first to five in Marble 3?